on. Jenny is waving her arms in the studio <laughs> here. You want to jump in? Jason Kenny, uh, Tara just said, has poisoned air, or is you know that's sort of the, the concept has poisoned. Aaron O'Toole. No, I, listen, I think it's, it, it, it's easy to say that, but I don't think it's actually the case. I think part of the issue that we have in Alberta is if you look at some of these ridings, we were winning these seats with 70% with of the vote. You look at a seat like Calgary Nose Hill, Michelle Rempel got 70% of the vote. Her, her, where she is today is, is at 56% uh, of the vote. We are just lucky in Alberta, our margins were so big mm -hmm. that any vote for the People's Party, any vote for a conservative alternative didn't matter. But if you're looking at these, if you're looking at these ridings, um, they're picking up Calgary Forest Lawn. They're 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 winning with the, or they, the PPC is getting seven eight percent of the vote. That th th those are mostly conservative voters who are unhappy with the campaign. So and and as for Edmonton, as as Rana said, uh, they have an infrastructure in Edmonton. They have they hold uh, all but one of the seats provincially. So they have volunteers. They have foot foot soldiers on the ground. And more so than any um, uh, political party, I think you'd agree there is cr the, the 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 cross of between provincial uh, New Democrats and federal ones is is more so than what you have I, I find with any other uh, with any other party just a tech just a technical note Jason Kenney has a caucus meeting on Wednesday uh, so his political fate is very much determined I know that's slightly different but if after a conservative loss their triggers a, a leadership review is triggered so that when we talk about a post-mortem that's a euphemism for uh, a crucible like that is they got to survive that and, and but, that's up for grabs. But it's not just if I could point out it's not just in Alberta where uh, we're seeing a decrease in the vote and potentially ridings mm -hmm. like the two in Edmonton Calgary Skyview. Uh, we're in a fight for Saskatoon West mm -hmm. uh, where we we're right now looking uh, it's very tight in Charleswood Assiniboian which is a is a seat that that we won in 2000 uh, in 2004. So it's that there is there is there is no Jason Kenny factor in the other seats in the in the in the prairies okay. or what we're seeing but in there's a maverick but is it the no 